Hello. Welcome back to Hungry on Game. It's Try Stuff Tuesday once again, and we're trying some stuff. Today we're trying Lost... Sorry. Today we're trying Midi Settlers Prologue. This was a game I actually saw recommended by the Twitter account of the game company Hooded Horse, who made Against the Storm, which is one of my favorite games in recent years. I have poured... 150 hours into that game so far and plan on pouring many more uh, against the storm is one of my favorite games in recent memory and if the company that made that game is recommending a game probably worth checking out so this is mentally settlers prologue uh, as you can see this version does not represent the final game it's an introduction it's a prologue it's basically a demo with a slightly different name uh but this is like against the storm uh, city builder adjacent i believe uh, and I love a good little bit of city building. So let's see what this game is about. That's what Try Stuff Tuesday is about. Also, this music is wonderful. Let's turn it down slightly, but it is wonderful. Alright, that seems like an appropriate level of volume. Uh, as always, you can wishlist this game on Steam if you want to. Uh, yeah, I'll have a link to that down in the description. I don't get anything from that. I think it's just important to highlight the games that I'm playing, especially when I'm trying things and trying to show off things that people might be interested in. I think the fact that early access has become, I think, a more streamlined and better offering, that demos and things like prologues are becoming more and more commonplace for people to try games. I think it's a really good thing for gaming to return to. And I'm curious to see what this is about, because like I said, a company I very much love and respect, and whose game is brilliant, recommended this game. Let's settle Eden Isle. The population goal is 80. HQ, baby. All right. I'm going to move the camera around. Wazda, arrow keys, or scrolling. Nailed it. Drag. What if I close this? Oh, this shows a little video. Beautiful. Oh, I have to use the other one too. Middle mouse button. Got it. Alright, zoom in's probably gonna be. Uh huh. Nice. G to open the handbook. Cool. The stuff there. All right, let's build. So we have this little island. It's very cute. His HQ, kind of pog. We got to build a water well. How do we do that? Water pumps and ore mines must be constructed on top of the resource spaces to start working. Okay, that's reasonable. I would like to build a water well or pump. Where are my buildings? Build. Oh, here. Down in the bottom. Water. Water well. Costs one. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Costs one. One tree stump. One wood. To build, and looks like it makes a water every five seconds. A reasonable amount of this has to be in this. Let's put it there. Need empty spaces. I mean, it's not 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 going good. Could be going better. You're saying? I did establish one. Do I have to move it? Goodbye. I will try again. How's this? Still need empty spaces. Interesting. One more time. Nope. Well, this says it's good. Can rotate buildings. That doesn't work. I'm down for this. All right. We did that. Apple farm. Farms and forests need empty grass spaces in their range to be constructed and start planting. All right. Apple farm. Sure. This seems fine. Okay. Lumber camp. Near trees. How surprising. Where are the trees? Here are some trees. 
And we already figured out that R rotates buildings. All right. Connect the buildings. I don't think the buildings are making any resources quite yet, but that's okay. We'll get there. Uh, roads must start and finish with either an empty space or a road post. Between one and seven spaces. Logistics. Okay. Here's me. Oh, I see. Click. Uh-huh. Road too short, excuse me? Rove. How do I get there? How do I... I would like to delete this road. Delete your account. How do I delete the account? But how? There must be a way. Where is delete? Destroy roads. Here we go. <laughs> Use the destroy tool. You can also destroy trees. Bottom. All right. Why can't I go there? Whatever. That'll do. And where's the other one? Here. Alright. Nice. So now we have everything connected up. What is this? Build roads with anchors. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I did that. Wait, did I not do that? Confused. Maybe. Destroy roads again. Alright, let's build some anchors, I guess, too. Oh, I have to make more than one road. Alright, whatever. Let's just do this. Uh, here we go. That'll do. Alright, great. We did everything. I don't know where this is going, but it's going somewhere. <laughs> Alright, so now it looks like all the things are happening from our HQ. This is kind of like a minimalist, adorable sim city. Uh, build a sawmill. We must start producing. Near lumber camps to make planks. Sawmill takes four wood. Where are my resources? That has been my eternal question. Does this tell me? Don't know is the answer. It's fine, I suppose. Near, near the wood camp. Well, that's right here. That seems fine. And build a quarry. Where is the stone here? Any more stone here? Sure. Is better, worse? Can't build here. That seems fine. Wait, what? No nearby stone ore. Are you sure? There's quite a lot. I think that's a lie. Game. Alright. Stuff's happening. Stuff's not happening. Did that not work? It looked like it worked. I think it's working. Something's happening. Nice. There's definitely stone here. Is this doing anything? Don't know. Maybe. Oh yeah. So this so this camp sends wood to this camp. This makes planks and the planks get sent to the quarry. That's cool. So we got a whole little interconnected system. Also we have like a ton of water just building up here. I guess this needs water to make apples? Yeah. Looks like it. One water makes two apples. Makes sense. 
I'm sure there's like a overall resource view somewhere. Maybe not in the prologue. All right. You can only construct houses near city centers to begin attracting new settlers. Houses also expand the range of the city center. Okay, so I have to start with the city center, I'm guessing. Yes. Five stone, five planks. Where shall we live? Let's live... Let's live a slightly away from the production. Let's live here. Right near the trees. It seems pleasant. On the edge of the desert, sure. Why not? Alright. Build some roads. Alright. And then this... Ah, okay. The gradient, I just realized now, means it hasn't been built yet. So this needs to ferry all of the resources, the stone and the planks. Yeah, here we go. The wood and... Hello? Anyway, those things. To get it built. So that'll start happening. Ten houses. Let's have a look at houses. Yep, only make houses near the city center. And then there are ongoing requests to meet the population. If you don't meet them, you get less people. And then we've got to hit the population goal. Sick. All right. I like that the game, like Against the Storm, is like time boxed in a way. Or like time boxed in the sense that like you have a target you're trying to hit. So instead of the infinite scaling of other city builders and sim games, which I th are very fun in their own right, don't get me wrong. There's like a little goal you're trying to get to. So you can do it in a unique way. You can do it in an efficient way. You can, uh, I don't know, fail to do it constantly because you're not meeting <laughs> demands of the game and can be challenging and fun. There's lots of like ways to approach this kind of stuff. This would be a, I mean, this is a beautiful little game. Like it looks so cute and fun. This game could be on anything. Like I'm, it's, it's perfectly good on PC. But, I mean, you could put this on tablet, mobile. The interface is very minimalist, but in a good way. I'm a big fan of, like, minimalist art styles. This game's really sweet. I can see why the Against the Storm people recommended it. <laughs> Alright, let's build some houses. Alright, I don't know what all that means yet, but that's fine. Alright, so the house right here. Oh, the city center wasn't done yet. All right, let's start with those. We've got to build 10 houses. That's quite a lot, actually. And if we don't build roads, no one can bring things to the houses. All right, and then once the houses get built, we will be able to... Once the houses get built, we'll be able to do the thing, which is... My brain just died. Once the houses get built, we'll be able to... They'll expand the city center. We'll be able to build more houses in a bigger range. We could build them back here, I suppose. I'm kind of enjoying this little line we're building right now. I think up here in the north, we'll make a little neighborhood. Why are there apples in here? Oh, interesting. The apples make stone. I didn't know that. So I could potentially speed this up, right? So this is getting fed water to make apples. And then the apples go to the stone quarry. And this is harvesting. Oh, this is also turning apples into wood. And then that wood gets turned into planks. So I could potentially make another. Well, I can't. Can I connect two camps? Let's find out. If I build another lumber camp here, let's say, what does this do? Okay, that seems to work. So now, in theory, there'll be twice as much wood getting made. There's no other apple orchards. But I could make another one. Kind of, why not, you know? Put it here, maybe? Yeah, that seems fine. Oh, interesting. Where can I put this? Over here, I guess. Alright, that'll do. 
So that should, in theory, speed up progress, I think. Oh, no, what do you need? What is this? Hang on. What request do you have? Oh, I met it. What request do you have? One water, one apple. 50 seconds. All right, well, you should get that. That should be easy enough. So I think you do have to increase the means of production in order to... Yeah, looks like you might have to in order to get it going. All right, let's keep going. Oh, I meant to go north. Whatever, there can be a house down here in the sand section. That's fine. That's chill. People will enjoy that, right? Right? All right, so our island is growing. So yeah, these were... Yeah, this looks good. Looks like increasing production means it was good. Might want to get more water involved, actually. I don't have, like, a full production tab. I don't know exactly what we're missing, but... I want to go through the apples. There we go. You can put bends in the roads by making anchors. Alright, so now we have double every production building. That seems good. What do you need? Water and apple? Well, I mean... The requests seem like they're mostly automated. It's mostly just a question of like, do we have the resources and should? What do houses get built out of again? Stone planks. And we should have enough stone. Stones aren't really being used for anything else. But I think having double water, double wood, double apple is good. All right, here we go. Can I do that? Ooh, fancy. Ooh, very fancy. Nice. And this is same thing. I just assume they get fulfilled fast enough. If I start falling behind, I guess I should build more. Like I could build a water well down here maybe. That seems like a decent idea. And then maybe one more apple situation? One more apple situation seems fine. Okay. Nice. Alright. We're doing it. Yeah, I'm just assuming every request is the same and it will get met. That's the that's the plan anyway. Four, five, six, seven, three more houses to go. Nice. This is so fun. Definitely gives me like SimCity energy. Also, like I mean again, this is a basically a demo, so there's a ton of stuff that's not unlocked currently, but like just looking at the amount of icons that's in most of these tabs there is a lot i'm sure that goes on in this game but the base concept's really really sweet i especially like that i mean levels i imagine get longer as they get harder but like it seems generally levels aren't too long like i think this this population target's 40 which is basically this tutorial i think but the next one was 600 can't imagine 600 takes that long because typically It'll get faster as you get uh, more stuff. And one house at the end here. Why not? Well, you know what? We might need more. What about here? Sure. Expand up here. And we have a nice little town. Six, seven, ten. Wait. Yes. Six, four, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. I think we're good. We just let it run. There is a speed up button. But that seems lame. We don't want that. Still just apples and water. Beautiful. Oh, 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 we're losing trees. Hold up. Hold up. Also, I probably should build one more lumber camp. 
Hmm, I didn't consider we would run out of trees. There's more trees here and here. Let's build another lumber camp. Or a sawmill. Does that just work? I think that just works. We put stuff on existing roads. We could also build extra roads out. Because we might need them. Uh, let's build out this way. Just build like a little loop. Oh, it can't be too long. Interesting. Okay. We'll build this out in case we need it. Definitely, I feel like I could have done better road planning, but it's okay. Apple water, apple water. Apple water. We're fulfilling requests. We have triple apple still. I don't know how it prioritizes, like... Because the little, like, track's moving, right? These little delivery robots or whatever. I don't know how they prioritize, like, building versus fulfilling requests, but... I'm just trusting the game's automation, you know? They do have to move along the track, so, like, distances and proximity do matter. Much like, you know, your workers traveling from one building to another would matter. I don't think we're in danger of not meeting any requests in time. Might also want to consider expanding to these trees. And then there's more stone. But again, the stone stuff is like... Doesn't seem like we're in trouble with stone. Is every house full? Is there a way for me to check that? I think every house might be full. So we might need to build more houses. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Well, 4, 8, hang on. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. 28, 32. Okay, this is exactly 40. Never mind. So the population comes through just naturally. Uh, I don't know if the cap is four people, but if it is, uh, eventually every house will be full. Oh, it is four people. That's what that means. The little four people icon means that four people fit in there, but not all the people are in yet. Which is why we don't have 40 people yet. Nice. Look at our, look at our town. Look at our beautiful town. We built this. Well done. Apologies, I just realized that uh, the view was a little constricted. My bad. That might make things a little awkward for viewing, but you can see everything now. Apologies. <laughs> My bad. Looks like I forgot to change some settings around. I don't think it takes away from how pleasant this experience was. I think most of what you needed to see, you could see. But apologies. This is what the game actually looks like as you reach our settlement goal. Nice. What did we unlock? Apple warehouse, water warehouse. Okay, we'll see what that does, I guess. Oh, goodness. Each warehouse building can hold a single resource type, and you have the flexibility to change it at any time. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we need to build warehouses. Logistics, maybe? Nope. Storage? Factory storages. A small warehouse. All right, I don't know what the of the warehouse is, but I guess you can uh, put stuff in closer proximity. I feel really bad for having the game not be rest properly, but all good. We'll call it a happy little accident. The Apple people need to relax. Oh! Wait, we're trying to get to 60? I guess we're trying to get to 60. I need to build more houses then, if that's the case. I saw you could upgrade houses. I wonder if I can upgrade houses here. It doesn't look like it. I have to build more houses at some point. But I'll I'll do the tutorial. I'll, I'll build the warehouses it wants me to build first. I guess I should have maybe put the apple warehouse, like, closer to the people. But I put it close to the apples instead. I don't know if I'll regret that decision or not.
Yeah, we're definitely pop capped right now. And we don't want to lose people, so they need to keep getting their apples and water. No more apples around. So I think the apple harvesting is max, but we could definitely get some more wood going on. Which we might do. And maybe more stone if we end up needing it. There's like a bunch of stone we're not mining. I guess we probably should do that. Just because there's like half of this ore is just not getting mined at all. Like, what is this covering? Yeah, these five blocks need something. There we go. Connect it up. Beautiful. Alright, warehouses can be changed around. Alright, click on this. Apple warehouse, water warehouse. This can be water. This can be apples. Perfect. Alright. Well, I'm pretty sure we have to build more houses, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. City center reached maxed houses? How do I get more? Do I have to build another city center? I guess. Alright, well this is the industrial section of town then, I suppose. Sorry. Someone, you gotta live somewhere, people. This is the Gary, Indiana. <laughs> Unlucky. Oh, I can upgrade the city center, maybe, actually? No, I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Alright, we'll build another city center. Unlucky. But, like I said, somebody's gotta live here. This island's not gonna populate itself. Oh my god, look how much stuff is in here. So I guess warehouses are just like ways of putting resources closer to where you need them to be. Also, I'm guessing there's a storage capacity in the base buildings. It's pretty low. Yeah, four. Whereas this is holding how much water? Twelve, which is the max for warehouses, it looks like. If drivers wait too long... Next to a full road post, they'll drop off their resources. I don't know what that means. I guess they're drivers too. I didn't. I said robots. Oh, yeah, they're just chilling here. There's like a huge backup here. Do I need to build a warehouse maybe? For wood? Small warehouse. Let's see if this fixes any of our problems. Eh, yeah, put it here. Seems good. All right, we got this up and running too. Time to build more houses. Uh, can I build four? I need three houses. Oh, I need to like build a road, huh? All right. I could build another house. I could build one just next to it here, right next to the mine. <laughs> it's a little grim, but like I said, somebody's got to live here. Oh, is this just for anything now? I guess this is for... Oh, no, they're building this. I want this to be for wood, I think. I think that was the problem. We're getting wood backups. I mean, there's just so much stuff on the road here. Doesn't seem ideal. I think warehouses kind of solve the problem, but I don't know. I am but a mini settler. How am I supposed to know? Alright, so eventually more people should come, which is good. Ooh, getting a little spicy over there. Maybe I need to build an apple storage point over there? I wouldn't mind that. Just keep some apples nearby. Let's build that. Don't leave. Alright, no leaving. I don't win the level if you leave. <laughs> Alright, looks like these are all built. So now we just gotta wait. People. Oh, 40 out of 52. That is not enough people. Right? No. I need more houses. I really can't count. Waterfront property? 
This is like not pleasing. Now it's uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Okay, that should be enough people. Assuming people are getting enough apples, which seems like it's getting a little harder to do apple storage. I mean, I think some of the backup got reduced here. Maybe I need a water storage here too. I'll try that. And this can be for water. We'll need their apples. Oh no! Maybe I don't have apples close enough to them. Build a little little road system. Yeah, the distance from the apples to here is pretty far. That's not good. How many people in this city center? Zero. Yikes. The roadblock seems to have died down, which is good. Still building this. Yeah, we kind of need like a more efficient way to ship the apples up north to the industrial sector. Really getting like chokehold on apple placement here. See, look with this. Everyone needs apples. It's taking too long. I mean, this looks a little... Maybe I just, like, make a little highway in here. Hold up. This is not going to be pleasing, but it may be effective. I have to go to a different node. All right, maybe that helps. <laughs> this is water storage, right? Yeah. Do I need apple storage? Don't know. Maybe. This seems to be helping over here. We'll just see. 15 people away. All right, let's see what route little drivers go oh okay i am noticing something that's kind of cool actually um well, the different nodes oh, yeah the different nodes do represent like a, a stop and it's very slow so you want your roads to be straight with fewer bends and breaks in them because the exchange part, like see this little intersection here where they're exchanging stuff, that takes ages. And this little road's making this happen, so yeah, that's not good. That's a good note for how kind of the like worker movement works, right? Because your workers are these little cars, I guess these are, driving around. Looks like people are getting their apples, so we're going to be okay. But like, I mean, think about how inefficient well, I guess it's always going to be inefficient for the houses because they have to have little nodes on the road. And I guess that's why the road length is also limited to like seven tiles max. So you can't just build like super long highways that these cars can run down. Maybe you can in like the full game. That'd be hilarious. Just build a, build a 405, but only for Apple delivery. So UPS drivers just zoom in to deliver this community <laughs> their apples. <laughs> All right, looks like we're going to hit the population without too much trouble, but I think some of these warehouses were helpful, so that was good. I could put one here. I guess why not? Let's see if that does anything. Make this an apple warehouse, and that might make apple delivery a bit easier. There isn't really water up here either. Turns out this was a terrible corner. To put a new city center in. <laughs> Who would have thought over-industrializing your urban planning was bad? Maybe that's a lesson we can take away today.
I will say, especially for games like these, any music loop where I initially hear it and really enjoy it, but then it quickly fades into the background without like becoming too noticeable or maybe more importantly too irritating is very successful. I think game music is like a really interesting challenge to try and meet because a lot of it is like a loop that's going to play for quite a while and you need the loop to be interesting enough that the player feels like they're getting something out of it but unassuming enough that it doesn't get in the way of the experience and I would say this very pleasant piano loop accomplishes all of that so great job whoever wrote the music. Music's so funny in games I feel like it's one of the first things they comment on and then it's like the first thing I forget. <laughs> Yeah, look at this, like, I mean, we joked about the Apple Highway, but we're kind of doing it. Should be good. Yeah, it looks like this Apple storage unit also helped. It turns out these production buildings, like, kind of go hard. Nice. All right, new buildings unlocked. We're going to get to 80 now. Just keeps going. Uh... 4, 8, 12, 16. This is 20. I, I guess we can build more houses here. I don't like this area, but I've committed. I've committed my people to living here. Yeah, getting people access here is going to be a pain. We'll do that. Definitely having houses sharing nodes seems to make sense because, again, the cars stopping is like a pretty big deal build down here as these houses expand. I actually thought the prologue was going to end at like uh, 60 people. Or well, actually thought it was going to end at 40 people, but this is actually pretty involved in a nice way. What is this? A forest. What does this do? Don't know what this does. Is this just a better... Well, you know what? We'll build one and see what it does. I guess I can click on it probably now. Maybe it'll explain it to me. This converts... Oh, this makes trees? I think. Does this mean I don't want this here? Hang on, let me... Oh, no. Oh, I think I... Yeah, I think I want this somewhere, like, blank. Oh, interesting. Makes forest. That's fun. Uh, yeah, this looks fine, I guess. Oh, I see. That's fine. All right. See what this does. More apples, people. Build down this way was the plan. Two more houses to go in this area. That is, uh, it's 40 is the, yeah, so maxing out the houses here will give us 80. It's 40 people max per city center. I guess I could uh, expand more resources. I don't know if I need them yet, and I might need the space for more houses so I'm gonna wait just something I'm thinking about it's 10 seconds to build a house I guess the population request is always the same at least for level one houses Okay, this got built. Yep. One more house to go. Keep moving down the coastline here. This is a very, this is not a bad part of town. You know, if you just ignore the warehouses and the factories and stuff, it's fine. <laughs> Everything's chill. I thought there's like a big sand section. This little desert in the middle of my tiny island. Alright, so what's going on over here? 
Looks like this makes trees. It takes a while to make trees. But this is a tree. And then eventually... I'm gonna build a lumber camp. I almost feel like you would eventually want to, like... Build another water thing. I said, I was gonna say, I almost feel like you'd eventually want to, like, demolish these after you build all the trees, but I don't know. Pure speculation. Alright, cool. So this is maxed. Should get us to our next population goal. Maybe speed up a little. Now that the machine is kind of working, speed up gameplay a little. I appreciate that games like this have speed up functions. I feel like I use them very sparingly, but I do appreciate that they exist. Which is an interesting feature point for a game to have. Like, I barely use this, but every time I use it, I feel like it brings me immense value. It's probably a good thing, assuming that it's not too hard to implement, which... I don't know, I've never made a game. <laughs> nice! We did it! We settled the island. That was really, really fun. Oh yeah, that's fine. There's no saving in the prologue. Alright, well that was Mini Settlers Prologue. Uh, like I said, you can try this for free right now. If you want to, you can play through exactly what you just saw and get a feel for the game see if you like it see if you're interested and if you do like it uh, i believe the game is currently available on steam if not you can wishlist it as you can see i'll have a link to that down in the description of this video but yeah this is a really minimalist fun compact city builder and like i said i've really been enjoying the fact that way a lot of companies have been releasing demos and prologues and things you know to really get you to play the game and get to grips with it and this was i think a this is a perfect demo. It shows you everything. It teases a bunch of stuff. It gives you a, a really good understanding of what the core gameplay loop is. And then asks you the simple question, hey, if you like that, you can check it out if you want. And that's what I'll leave you with. If you like this, you can check it out. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and or subscribe on the video if you feel so inclined. It does help out the channel a ton. But most importantly, I hope you have a great day because you deserve it. And uh, thanks for hanging out. It's always a pleasure. And may anyone stop by the channel. I'll see you next time.